Hi friends, how are you doing today? Let me begin this video with a quick story about two friends, Peter and Henry, two young boys who lived in a small village and shared a common dream of becoming successful musicians. Despite facing many challenges and setbacks, they never gave up on their dream. Eventually, their hard work and determination paid off and they landed a record deal and became household names, inspiring people all over the world with their music. Now my question to you is, have you heard of these two musicians, Peter and Henry? You may pause this video here and look on the internet for their inspiring story. Well, what if I told you that these two real looking pictures of Peter and Henry are actually created by an AI text to image model called DALI. And their inspiring story of becoming successful musicians is actually written by another AI language model called ChatGPT. Surprising, isn't it? It may feel hard to believe, but smart AI systems like Uber, Netflix, fun apps like Talking Tom are now a decade old technology. This is how far we have come with AI over the last few years and specifically in 2022. There hasn't been a better time to get into data science and build your career in this domain. And in this video, I'll give you a complete step-by-step -step roadmap to become a data scientist in the year 2023. We are releasing this video now so that you can keep referring to it in the entire 2023. All right, to become a data scientist, here are the skills you need to master. The first skill is programming, then statistics and mathematics for data science. The next skill is storytelling with data. You need to learn machine learning, specifically supervised and unsupervised algorithms, deep learning, and knowledge about NLP and CV. And finally, you need to learn and understand how to deploy ML models. Apart from these technical skills, you also need to work on your soft skills, specifically structured thinking, analytical skills, and communication skills. That further includes how you present and how you speak and how you narrate your stories using data. Now, are you feeling overwhelmed? Don't worry. For you, we have curated a 12-month roadmap to acquire all these skills. And for simplification, we have also divided this roadmap into four quarters. This roadmap is created presuming you will be studying for about four hours per day, five days a week. So as long as you're giving 20 hours uh, in a week, you should be following this roadmap. And if you follow this plan diligently, you should be able to start applying for data analyst roles right after the first quarter. You can start competing in data science competitions on Kaggle, Data Hack, etc. starting second quarter. And you can start looking at entry-level data science roles starting third quarter and full-fledged roles in data science in the fourth quarter. So let's begin this journey. In the first quarter, you should put your complete focus in learning programming skills and statistics for machine learning and storytelling with data. In programming skills specifically, you need to pick up a general purpose programming language, which could be Python. Both of these languages have a wide range of applications, including web development, data analytics, scientific computing, which makes them a very versatile language to learn. Along with that, you'll also need a domain-specific language called SQL for querying your database. So you should learn SQL in the first quarter itself. SQL is used to manage and manipulate data stored in relational databases. So that's the reason why you need SQL. Once you have learned these programming languages, this is the time you should now start learning about statistics for machine learning and you should look at descriptive statistics, you should learn about probability, how to do hypothesis testing, how to run regression analysis. All of these tools combined should give you enough power to do storytelling with data. And you can use any one of the tools, Power BI, Tableau, ClickSense, 
to narrate your stories, use them to analyze your data, and then present them in a very appealing format to large group of audience with interactivity built into these dashboards. So you should practice these dashboards on some of these open data sets which are available. This could be COVID vaccination dashboard. It could be FIFA World Cup visualization dashboard and a lot other problems. Now, during this quarter, along with these technical skills, you should start investing in building your soft skills, specifically analytical skills. So logical reasoning, data interpretation skills, and you should uh, practice some of the basic mathematical uh, problems which usually come up in the aptitude test. So by end of this quarter, you will have a solid foundation for machine learning. So you are ready to launch for the next quarter. And in the second quarter, we will focus on the essential advanced mathematics for machine learning, advanced machine learning topics like deep learning, neural networks, etc. And at this point, you can also start participating in various data science competitions happening across the globe on platforms like Kaggle and DataHack. So what do we mean by essential mathematics for machine learning? First of all, you need to understand the concepts like linear algebra, gradient descent, so that you can understand the math behind these machine learning algorithms. Once you have done that, you can now study various supervised and unsupervised machine learning algorithms, various evaluation metrics. So how do you know whether a model is performing well or not? And concepts like accuracy, precision, recall. At this time, you can start doing machine learning projects like sentiment analysis, movie recommendation problem, loan prediction problem, and the links to these problems have been given in the description below. Once you have done this, you can now level up in your machine learning knowledge, learn about techniques like ensemble modeling, learn about deep learning algorithms, basics of neural network, transfer learning to notch up and then participate in these competitions. During this entire quarter two, build your soft skills on communication skills. Uh, go and narrate your stories to varied stakeholders, practice storytelling again and again, write your own blogs, make your own YouTube videos so that you can notch up yourself in this communication gap. By end of this quarter, you should be able to build machine learning models, in fact, advanced machine learning models and perform some groundbreaking feature engineering. Now, at this step, the next logical question for you would be, how do I deploy these machine learning models, which brings us to the quarter three. So in the third quarter, you should gain knowledge on machine learning model deployments, which entails mastering some of the software engineering concepts for putting machine learning models in production. And at this time, you should start looking at entry level roles in data science. Specifically coming to the skills, you'll need some software engineering skills, knowledge of how Git, GitHub and version controlling works. And these web based platforms should allow you to manage and store your codes. Along with this, you should know working knowledge of Linux, some of these Linux commands and bash scripting commands. And the third thing you'll need is knowledge about some of the cloud platforms and some of the popular cloud platforms, including AWS, GCP, and Azure. So pick any one of those, they are very similar, and go through these concepts and basics. How can you deploy your machine learning models on any of these platforms, right? So you should be able to build, train, deploy, and maintain these models on cloud, which also brings us to the next topic, which is MLOps. Now, MLOps helps you deploy these models at large scale. So the topics it includes is Docker containers, images for various machines, creating apps for deploying ML and DL models using various web frameworks like Flask or Django. You can do them with or without Docker. You can also create some apps using Streamlit and deploy these with third party web servers, which could be Heroku, Firebase, etc. Now, while you are building all of these technical skills, this is a good time to also invest in structured thinking, specifically structuring your thoughts, 
doing case studies, practicing guess estimates, and practicing mind mapping. So take unstructured problems, put a structure around that, and think through these problems using a tree or various other tools which are available out there. By end of this quarter, you should have the end-to-end -end understanding of not only building ML models, but deploying them on cloud and at scale. So what do we cover next? In the fourth quarter, we'll focus on advanced topics, specifically NLP or natural language processing and computer vision, along with a focus of end-to-end -end machine learning projects. By this time, you should be extremely comfortable with what's happening in ML industry, understanding various concepts. And this is the time to go deeper in computer vision and NLP. So you can pick any of these in, uh, for the purpose of this roadmap, we'll discuss computer vision first, right? So, computer, so you, when you pick up computer vision using deep learning, you should look at uh, solving problems like object detection, you should, learn techniques like CNN, RNN, uh, and you should also do transfer learning on some of the pre-trained models, specifically yellow V7. While you are doing this, you would already have covered some bases for NLP, but now is the time to go deeper in NLP and understand techniques like tokenization, embedding, transfer models. If you've learned the basics of RNN, you can apply them LSTM and transfer learning on some pre-trained models. BERT is the most common one to start here. Once you've done all of this, this is the time to start building some projects on some of these topics which you have learned in this quarter, specifically image classification, object detection, fake news detection on live events. So this is your complete 12 month plan to become a data scientist in 2023. As Analytics Vidya, we have helped more than 300,000 data science aspirants to achieve their dreams and industry focused careers in the last few years. Now that you have a complete overview of becoming a data scientist, you might be wondering where do you find these resources at a single place and that's where there is a link to the blog uh, in the description and along with it those of you who are looking at going through a structured program we run a boot camp program for people early in their career this entire roadmap is exactly the curriculum we cover in this boot camp program and it has extensive coverage multiple projects and it provides you with one-on-one -on -one guidance and most of all, it comes with a job guarantee. So if you go through the bootcamp program, you should be able to get a job in the industry. So look at the description below. You'll find the link to both the blog as well as the bootcamp program. For more such information on data science, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we are creating these videos out there. Along with that, we post daily YouTube shorts that cover very interesting data science specific interview questions and their answers in depth. Hope you are enjoying them too and I'll see you soon shortly. Thank you.